Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio, and that's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm a color art affiliate, so we're going to use some color art colors. I'm going to make a mess to begin with and work on it in any way it demands of me. Um, I'm wishing this was open. This is the golden maple. I have cause to think I need to mix some more. I'm going to put some heavy paint down in dribbles. And then I'm going to add a spatula or a scraping tool. I don't mind using this up because I'm ready to mix some more. This is Golden Maple Primary Element with, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly some diamond sparkle added to it. I'm not sure why that was. Anyway, I'm going to leave that on its side so it has a chance to drain. I'm going to throw a little bit of Vivid Intense White in. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at all. I'm just going to keep trying. I'm going to pick colors I love. And I think that there is some mystique. I just mixed up the rest of my mystique. Excellent. I want some Egyptian blue. This one's a hard one to squeeze out. So I'll just give that a miss. I've got some Prussian Violet. Egyptian Blue is a prison pour. Prussian Violet is a primary element, I believe. Two hands. And I think that must call for some Parrot Wing, another pr prison pour. And then I have mixed up a whole bunch of red, violet, vivid, intense fluorescent and put some golden diamonds in there. And at some point in time, I'm just going to decide there's enough paint in one spot to move it around somewhere else. I'm going to go for the jasmine. I've never really, I don't think I've ever really put all, all the paint I think I might be able to use that can't stay on a canvas and then go into town on it trying to cover it with a single first layer. I think I just got the marble in the tip of my bottle. It's time to make some more saffron evidently. But I've got sour lemon with holly berry, sour lemon prim prison pour. Holly berry is a purely pigment. I, I've obviously not added any of the new art fluid to that yet. This is primary element Isadora. I'm tired of waiting. Take the top right off. I think some orange crush is coming around. Might have to wipe off my spatula in between a few times. And where is my spatula? I grabbed something else, but I want to use that saffron. It's not, it shouldn't be empty. I think I'm going to give Purely Pigments Chartreuse a little go. I don't believe I've used that yet. And while I'm still adding things, um, I've got Purely Pigments Magenta. And I want Dancing Fuchsia. And I think it's right here. Yes, it is. I need something lighter colored. I think I need to pull out some more white again. 
or maybe some of the frosted berry will work. We'll see. I've got pink carnation standing by. I like my painting. Okay, I'm done. Like I'm going to have some stuff to pull out. So I'm hoping there's a set of tweezers around here someplace that... There we go, we got one. Let's go the other way. finding things that need to go away. When I do that, I need to go back again. I'm going to grab a little bit of the dancing fuchsia. Make sure there's no burr on my spatula. So far so good. I'm going to try and go down this way. If we're going back up the other way. Part of this idea is based on the fact that if I can cover the canvas, then I can add another layer of black or white surrounds and capture shapes. Also, I used to smear dots, and I really like doing that, but it reminds me of what I'm doing now to a degree. be the fastest painting ever if it doesn't require a second stage, although I'm pretty sure it will. I see a whole lot of color right there that I would need to do something with. So I'm pretty sure I guessed okay. But I'm not 100% sure I'm done yet. But I'm still happy with what I've got. And I could put anything I want over the top of it if I decide to. I do have to stop dribbling though. I don't want to get too fussy because I think it's a good start. I do want to take some of this paint though. And use it. Knock some of it right over the edge right there. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, I'm pretty happy. It's a great stage one. I could add some white. Some more white because the white I put in sort of disappeared a little bit. That was not planned. I will learn my lesson from that. That's an unplanned happy accident that created some interesting texture, or let's call it depth. I don't want to go so much further that I cause myself any muddiness. I think I'm going to grab some yellow. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to use some of the mellow yellow that I put that's um, purely pigments. It has a little holly berry in it also. Just because I can. 
Let's take care of any extra paint we got. I think because I'm going to use yellow, I'm going to wipe that off. Either wipe it off or use a fresh one. In this case, it's wiping it off. There, I like that. This is very prismatic so far. And kind of, sort of, exactly what I was looking for. If I'm careful, I won't mess it up. That looks like I messed it up. But I'm thinking magenta, the new Purely Pigments magenta, is perfect there. Do I want to do anything else? Not really. Can I get the dancing fuchsia to come out? Well, you'd think I'd have really strong grip by now. I wonder why that's so tough. If I just tap the spatula along that edge, I can usually cover what I need to cover. I want to put my spatula down so I can use two hands. Just knocked my knuckle right into the painting. Darn. Not unhappy with that. Definitely like the way the saffron looks. Wondering if I should use a little more. Boy, these color art colors are the bomb. So this was parrot wing over here, I think I'm seeing mostly of, and I'm going to add some more. I might do something over there where I knock my knuckle in. I wish all these bottles came out as well as this one. I just don't want that canvasy edge showing up. Parrot wing is awesome. Let's have a little more. I don't mind some weird anomalous. Oh, that looks like I have a bunch of paint there. Let's just use it cautiously. Okay, that's my signal for abandoning my uh, idea that I was going to not pull any paint up. That's why I used a Michaels Prime canvas instead of a Priscilla Prime canvas. I'm going to use a new fresh spatula. Actually, I'm going to grab the small one. I think that's safe. I want something else, and I think I'm going to put it along the blade of my spatula. Come on, dancing fuchsia. Maybe there's a clot in there because I just saw a lump. I got it out though. There's my blade. I'm still feeling like putting more saffron in there. And I did lean the bottle over for a good reason.
All right, I'm just going to take this. And cover that edge with it. I start to get nervous when I switch sides on the colors. But I think I'm still okay. That was cool. I got away with it, yay! Alright, whatever I see in here that doesn't belong needs to go. Do I want to do something with that spot that I put my knuckle in? Camouflage it just a little. If I didn't tell you, you might not know it was there. That was a filament of paint. Probably came right off my fingers. This, on the other hand, is something I don't know. I should probably torch. Glad I used that gold to begin with. My opportunity is to do it again before I'm done. But I'm not sure I should. But I could definitely do some tomorrow. I want some turquoise. And I have Blue Lagoon. I think I need to wipe off my spatula though. I eventually peel up my silicone matte paint. I need to dip that. I've got one more clean spatula. So I should tell you guys I love you and um, for all intents and purposes this is a finished painting. That didn't come out very turquoise but I'm okay with it. It didn't hurt anything, so I'm good. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Um, I still want some white in here. I think it's going to have to be... the frosted berry and a little more jasmine. Very little. Did I get away with it? We'll find out in a second. So I want to thank all my members for keeping my channel alive. Thank you. That was the fastest minute ever. I'm going to tell you guys I have 33 playlists of 100 videos each. And I'm going to try and shimmer this at you really quickly. Tell you I love you. I hope you come again. I post at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm loving this painting. This is just the exact art therapy that I needed and uh, I don't know if it's a stage one but it's definitely giving me a plan for doing the same thing again at some point in the future and adding more to it in another stage. Please give me a thumbs up when you watch my videos longer you sh you tell the YouTube algorithm to help me out um, keep my channel alive hopefully. Please share my videos if you are of mine too. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com if you're per interested in purchasing an artwork or taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do give lessons and I do sell my artwork. On my link tree, you're going to find a percentage off coupon for color art. I'm a color art affiliate. Uh, Pixel Paint Designs has also, also got a 10% off Pixel Paint Designs coupon code. And my Amazon link has my two books on it because I can in unlimited possibilities. The first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube about paint pouring. Thank you to all my Patreons and my patrons through PayPal, excuse me, yes, PayPal <laughs> and, pay, and Patreon. But mostly thank you to my members for keeping my channel alive. I love you guys. Check my community board for tomorrow's video. And um, 